Oh, that's simple. Georgism is the idea that the world should be run by people named George. Wait a minute, that that's not right. Georgism, also known as Geoism, Geoism's the better name, states that there are certain things that cannot be owned by a private citizen. And those things are essentially anything that is a common natural resource. That means land, water, air, so on and so forth. Yes, this includes land, so the land that buildings are built on, so on and so forth, that is something that should be owned by everyone. The resources of the planet are everyone's. The work that you do, the labor that you do, however, is yours. The private citizens own that. If you provide a service, you own that. If you make a product, you own that product and can sell it however you want. That's why geoism is a better name, because it's primarily concerned with, you know, natural resources. and Geo, world, natural. It, shut up, that's my opinion, it's a better name. Anyway, like a lot of different political and economic ideologies, there are a lot of different flavors of Georgism. By the way, it's called Georgism because it stems from the writings of Henry George, and it's evolved a lot since then, so once again, I think Geoism is a better name. And usually the disagreements in modern-day debate is where the line is drawn between privately owned created resources and natural resources. Like, if you can't own land, can you own a building on the land? If you can't own water, can you own the water after you do something to it, like filter it or use it for a drink? And there's no easy answer here, because there isn't a whole lot of philosophical difference between taking water and adding sugar to make a sugary drink, and taking water and removing minerals from it to filter it and sell it as water. Even though a lot of people would say one is a product, which you can own, under Georgism, and one is a natural resource, which you can't. And then, of course, there's debates on what do you do with natural resources. A lot of times, people advocate for a single tax on land and natural resources. But when and how it's taxed and how that's integrated into our economic system and government, once again, a million different flavors. But the main through line is this. Natural resources are something that everyone owns. Anything that you make as a result of your labor is something that you own. And then a lot of Georgists then go on to say that means that land can be taxed, but your labor cannot be taxed. But again, the individual details on that tax and where the line is is going to differ depending on who you talk to and who's implementing these policies.